Okay. Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at electricity on NECO physics practical. Yeah, we have a probable setup for what we are going to be having today. Now this look at this setup here. This setup is for the verification of parallel resistors connected together using a meter bridge. Now this is our meter bridge. Then we we'll have two resistors, R1 and R2, connected in parallel. Then we have a resistance board, which we are going to uh, alter the resistance. That's to vary the resistance of this, so that we can change the current flowing through the setup or the circuit. Now this is a center zero galvanometer. For this center zero galvanometer, each time we are going to always determine the balance point. That is the point where the pointer points towards zero as we slide our jockey so this is our jockey through the uh, meter roll on the meter bridge now when we get the balance point we are going to record the length l and we record 100 minus l on the other side now let us quickly look at the procedure now before we go to the procedure now it is very possible for these resistors to also be connected in series meaning that we we'll connect them end to end instead of connecting them one end to the other end we we'll connect them end to end in series so it is very possible another possibility is that one of these resistors can be placed there and the variable resistor that is resistance bus will be connected in parallel with this or in series with this then we vary the resistance of the resistance bus so these are the possible uh, possibilities that we can have for this uh, practical but for this practical class i'm going to go in with this now one of this is one ohm and the other one is going to be sealed probably two ohms anyway now let's uh, quickly go through the procedures now these are the procedures set up the circuit as shown in the figure above so this is the figure so we are going to set up the circuit that way two Connect R1 and R2 as shown in the figure. So we we'll connect R1 and R2 in parallel. I'm going to run you through the connection after uh, the after we go through the instructions or the procedure. Then three, tighten all plugs in the resistance bus by pressing and rotating each plug to ensure that all plugs make good electrical connection. Using sandpaper, clean the ends of connecting wires before making the connection. So we have already done all of that. Four, remove some plugs from the resistance bus to get the suitable value of resistance. R equals 30 ohms. So we are going to get 30 ohms. So we set R equals 30 ohms. Then we get a null point D. This is the null point. The null point is where this uh, galvanometer pointer points to the zero mark. Then, okay, we get the null point of the meter bridge. Why by sliding the jockey between ends A and C? This is end A and this is end C. Then note the value of the resistance arrow and length AD. So we have to record the resistance arrow is 30 ohms and the length L and we also record DC equals L minus 100. So we are going to do this. Then tabulate, we, we tabulate our readings. Then after that, we are going to repeat the experiment for four more values of resistance. R equals 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5 ohm. Now, in this experiment, I am not going to be plotting the graph. I just want to show you how to get your readings from the meter bridge, how to connect the meter bridge, and also get your readings, then you record. Now, so this is my composite table. I have the resistance 30 ohm, 25 ohm, 20 ohms, 15 ohms, 10 ohm, 5 ohms. Then I have my L, the balance point. And I have 100 minus L. We just evaluate this by when we get L. Now let's uh, go uh, straight to the meter bridge and see the connection. Okay, so this is my setup. This is my meter bridge. Now I'm going to show you the connection. Now these are my standard resistors connected in parallel. If you see, I did not connect them end to end, rather, I connected each end, these two ends to this one, and this other two ends to this one. How did I connect that? You can see simply from this, just connect this to this, join this, connect this to this, join them together and tighten on this. Then I have my key, this is my key, my switch, connected to one end on this side. Then this other end is connected to the 
negative terminal of the battery. The positive terminal of the battery is connected to this end. Now this is my resistance bus, fully closed. This side is connected to this, via these wires, and this one is connected to this, via this wire. Then the next connection is the uh, galvanometer. This is a center zero gun. You can see that the pointer is at the zero. You can see that the pointer is at the zero mark. So you can see that the pointer is at the zero mark. And look at the connection here. This positive terminal is connected to the jockey. So this is what I'm going to be sliding through this. Not actually this, I'll just check for the balance point. Then I have this other side connected to the negative uh, terminal. So this is the connection. Now what we are going to do is this. With the, with the key, with the resistance bus, with no key plug out, I will determine the balance point. I have not pointed out, remove any of the key. So we will determine the balance point by closing the key. Without the key not being removed, we check for the balance point. So I'm going to record that as L0. So let's put it deflect this way. So let me take it this way. Okay, we're getting closer. So we get the balance point here. Point it to that place. So we get the balance points now. So let's read off this from here. So I'm reading this wave, this side. So this is 75. This is 75.1234567. So that's 75.8. So I'll remove my key and record that as L0. So my L0 is equal to 75.8 cm. So now I'm going to remove the. So the next one, you know, from our here, we are going to look for the reading for 30. So I'm going to remove 30. I don't have 30, so I'll remove 20 and 10. So, so close the switch again and slide this on this. Okay, as you take part this way. Okay. So we get that at. Do you get the balance point there? Mm. Yes. We get the balance point there. So let's read off this. So this is at 94.9. So we we'll remove the switch again. So we record this as 94.9. Then you are there. You cannot get the uh, value. You are going to get error due to parallel. So you have to stay in front of it to get your readings. Well, okay, this is, so we'll get the one for 25. So let's get it from the resistance board. So we get 25. So we have 20, I'm going to remove, log off out 20 and five, that's 25. So let's close the switch again and slide this through. I will start from this side. So move it this way, let's see. Got the balance point, right? Yes, sir. So this is at 93, 93.5678, 93.8. So we get that at 93.8. Next, we please, we take 20. So we can just unplug just one of these 20 here. So let's get the slide. So close the switch again. And let's slide through. I since we get our reading closer to this side. Okay, let's see. Okay. We get the balance point. Yes, sir. So let's read it off. So this is exactly on 93. Zoom it on, let's see. It's exactly on. Let me show. The balance point has shifted. Let me push it back. Okay, we are on the balance point. Is that on the balance point? 
Yes. So the balance points. Yes. So that's exactly it's ninety two point five. So it's ninety two point five. Ninety two point five. So the next we go for fifteen. So let's. So for fifteen, we remove ten and five. So. So let's close the switch again, and check our balance. We're going to get it closer to this side. Okay. Your balance point, yes, sir. So that's a uh, 90.5. So we are going for 10. So I'll just remove this 10 from here. So let's check the back. So close the switch again and let's get the balance point. I'm going to move it closer to this side. Let's see from the previous experiment. Yo, okay. We got the balance point. Yes, sir. So that's eighty seven point five. Eighty seven point five. So we record that eighty seven point five. So let's get the last one. That is the last one is five point zero. So let's just get that. So we remove five. So let's yes. so close the switch. So let's get the balance point. That, do you have a balance yes. point? So I'm up to. Okay, let's see. Okay. That's 79.8. So I have 79.8. So we can evaluate all of this side. So we have 100 minus 94.9. That's 5.1. 100 minus 93.8. Now 6.2. 100 minus 92.5. Now 7.5. 100 minus 90.5. That's 9.5, right? 9.5. 100 minus 87.5. That's 12.5. 100 minus 79.8. That's 20.2. Okay. So these are my readings and uh, our evaluation. Now, it is possible that the, uh, the, what you are going to, the values of arrows, arrow may be different from this. But just know that you will not be doing anything different from this. You are going to always determine the balance point. That is very for, uh, sure. So this column here is, is very sure that you are going to be getting this column. You may be asked to evaluate every other thing, but the balance point L must always be what? Determined. Now, I'm using my... Let's go to this point. So on my meter rule, on my bridge rather this is the positive terminal of my cell so i use this side as my zero point down to this side so my length l is measured from here to this then you can either and now evaluate the other part and you'll be given the parameters to plot against one another but the most important thing is that you always determine your what your balance point l okay that's all for this uh, practical lesson do ensure to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and also share and like so that other people can also do this and it should be beneficial uh, to them. Thank you very much.